Hi, I just want to give everybody a warning. If you have a weak stomach or you get grossed out easy, do not watch this video. I've had a lot of my friends ask me how I change my urostomy system, and so tonight that's what I'm going to do. It's time for a back change, so I'm going to show everybody exactly how I do it. Now, if you have a urostomy, you're probably going to do it a lot different than I do. I've just found a technique that works for me. So once again, if you have a weak stomach or get grossed out easy, do not watch this. Thank you. Okay. Here is my pouch. I use the Coloplast mini pouch. And then after I get the pouch attached, I attach either a leg bag or a nighttime drain bag to this. Now the first thing that you'll want to do is put on your rubber gloves. You always, I just ripped the edge there, but that's okay because that's at the arm. You'll always want to use your rubber gloves cause until you've got it clean and sanitized, you won't want your skin to touch the stoma due to high risk of infection. Now what I'll do here is remove my ostomy belt. And I'm going to put that off to the side here because I'll need that when I'm finished. Now the first thing I do is select a pouch. And, you know I use the the Coloplast mini pouch and then select your flange that you'll use and what you always want to do is get the flange and the pouch together before you do anything because once it comes time to to put on the pouch you'll want to get that on as quick as possible so no urine gets on your clean um, sanitized skin so you make sure to snap that into place there and once you have that snapped into place you attach your pouch however it is to secure it. And you just set that off to the side and what you will need next are your adhesive removers. It's very important. So you use the first adhesive remover to get everything off. Now, it takes a little bit longer for me because to keep everything in place, I use um, extra security strips. So, and I'll show you here in a little bit how those attach. And if you're a man, this is the hardest part right here because you get all that hair that that sticks to everything so you gotta get in there good with it and there we go the bag is off there's the stoma and that adhesive remover you'll plug up your hole on your bag there and you dispose of it I've got my little trash can. You can't see it there, but it's got a ostomy um, trash bag in it. And you'll take another adhesive remover, and you'll begin getting some of that stoma seal off of there. And be careful not to hit your stomach because if you do it starts bleeding it doesn't hurt it just bleeds and causes a little bit of mess and yep I'm shooting out shooting out urine here now with my urostomy there is no control over the urine coming out because 
when I had my urostomy done, I also had a radical cystectomy. I have no bladder to hold urine, so my my stoma is hooked directly up to my kidneys, so when urine's ready to come out, it just comes flying out. There's nothing to hold it in, no storage for urine. Okay, I'm going to need, usually I can get by with two, but I'm going to need two adhesive remover things here. Well, actually, I'm on my third. I used two already. So we're going to get one more around there really good. There we go. Now my skin here sticks out a little more. You can see the bump there. I have a peristomal hernia. So I wear a hernia belt also. That's why I use the leg back and nighttime drain back with the mini pouch. It's much easier to much easier to keep the hernia belt on when everything hangs down instead of trying to tuck everything up into the side. So now the water is going to come on. Got to let it heat up a little bit here. Oh, your urine coming out. Okay, so you'll need a clean washcloth. And what you'll want to do is get around there with just water Now I use skin prep wipes for a while and what I found works better than the skin prep wipes is Aloe Vista cleaning foam. Just squirt a little bit on there. out your rag. Do some more warm water there. Okay. Now, you'll need a clean towel. I like to use my microfiber towels. Dry off your gloves. Now, what I'm going to do, I do not, I do not use stoma paste. Here is what I use. It's a, it's a um, seal, a ring seal. So I open that, I dispose of that packaging, and to bring the sticky out, you got to hold it between your hands for a little bit, let the warmth of your hands get in there. Dun 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 boom 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 dun 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 boom 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 boom. Okay, that should be enough. Now what you want to do is take the backing of your um, flange and peel that off. Try to avoid 
touch on the sticky as much as you can for the time being. And then set that back aside. And you take your your seal ring here. Take both sides of that off. Now you'll want to stretch this out a little bit. Now you grab your pouch and flange again. Lay that lay that seal ring on there, and you just push. See, that's why you got to avoid touching it. Push to the edge of your of your hole in there. I've got a one inch hole. I've got a one inch stoma. And so that that ring is on there now. And with that, I don't need any paste. So what I'm going to do now, take a little more warm water from my rag, my clean rag. Oops, see some more urine is coming out. This is why you want to keep cleaning it, because that urine's got acid in it, and it won't hold the seal if you don't keep that clean. So you take, take your rag, clean where urine came out. What you do next? Get a paper towel. And just start drying as much as you can around there for a better stick you want your skin completely dry and it's I have found the actual dry part right before you attach is better with a paper towel because fuzzies from the towel will stick to the skin to see you still have to stick to your skin and stuff won't stick as well with the towel fuzzies on there that, nope not gonna do it okay for a second it almost looked like more was going to shoot out the stoma now what you want to do and you'll have to do this quick just in case urine comes out you take your flange and you line it up with your stoma. See, there we go. And you press in where that barrier ring is. You press it in pretty hard. And you hold it. Move your fingers around a little. Make sure that all sides of that ring get pressed in. You see, now that the... Now that the stone is covered up, I can take the gloves off and dispose of them. Now, the rest of the flange, you'll want to press in also, because that runs on body heat. There we go. Then I usually do this number. Hold it in for a little bit. There we go. And I got this little tab up here. Easy to cut off with my stoma scissors. Dispose of that. Now, what I use to prevent against any leaks that might break through the seal but none have yet but I I still use these to be on the safe side I use seal strips now up oh, see I got that on just in time I've already got urine coming out now um, these seal strips you can either use them under your flange or above your flange now with my skin type, I found that the flange wasn't sticking good, so you you put them on, you know, like this, like you would tape on a box top. So 
This is how we're going to do this. Peel away a little bit. I hate doing the bottom one after urine's already come out. Makes it hard to lift. So you get that on there. See? And then you press it down. And once again, your, your body heat and your hands will activate it. You see? Oh, you have a little bit coming up there. looking pretty good. Now you got a picture frame these, so take another one. Get that one from the top. So you don't want to crinkle up on you at first. You gotta be persistent and not let them do it. Okay. Hold that down. Your body heat activate it. There we go. How's this one doing down here? Oh, we got a little bump there. Move that out. The first first half hour, you'll have little bumps, but you can you can go over them and smooth them out. Okay, it's time for the next one. There we go. Now these ones will go on the side. I found my side ones stick better. I have trouble with the top and bottom ones due to the due to the hernia as you can see here it sticks out so so far with the hernia I've noticed the coloplast flange works the best the rubber one the bandage type flanges just were not holding anything I would put them on and within an hour they would bust open so, and I can, if I let it go long enough, I, I don't usually, I keep it changed twice a week, but, um, just to see how long I could wear the coloplast one, I, I wore it until it popped the first leak, and it took one week and two days for it to even have its first leak. So, if I wanted to, I could, or if I had to, because of finances, I could stretch I could stretch the um, coloplast flange and pouch out for one whole week. So, there we go. There's that. Now, to get a better hold on this and to keep it from busting off you know, over the next hour or so while it's still sitting in. You just reattach your ostomy belt. Now, those of you who are going through a stomal hernia, and you don't know whether to ask your doctor for a belt or not I just want to tell you that even though it's big and bulky the belt has made a big difference in me so I'm going to show you how to put on a 
urostomy hernia belt. Because I'm going to have to put it on anyway. You take it, you attach your first. I sound like a woman with tools, your first little doomahickey. Get that turned around and lined up. And you take gotta get all this stuff situated here. Well, I can take this out now because I've got my got my bag on. So you take your pad and you put that down in your dirty laundry. And you take your second doomahickey here. Get that lined up. Your stomach belt can really get in the way. Mm. Take the side. And just start snapping them together. And voila! You have done a back change, got your ostomy belt on, and your hernia belt. All I need to do now is attach my leg bag. So, I hope this video has helped you guys out a little bit. Um, I know nurses will tell you it's customary to lay down to change your um, equipment, but I have found that it is much easier to do it standing up because when you lay down it's a lot harder to see what you're doing I can stand here and see everything in the mirror so I have found for me personally it's easier to stand and see that's how stoma works the stoma is like a snowflake you are never going to get the same experience with one person everybody is going to have a way to do it different you just got to find what works for you I hope this has been helpful thanks